Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. any part of the image and then put a checkpoint on it okay let's not waste much time on it because you know we will uh, take up more time on the VB scripting so that you know it uh, is useful for you in the real-time environment rather than you know spending the time on this kind of uh, unimportant stuff let's uh, keep some time for the VB scripting so that you know you learn it thoroughly and it will be useful for your real-time scenario okay Anyways, it's, I mean, it is a part of syllabus that I have to discuss. Okay, so you got to go to the insert over here and then we have a checkpoint, database checkpoint. And in the database checkpoint, you can insert two types of, I mean, in the two ways you can insert the database checkpoint. Either you can create a query using the Microsoft query or specify the SQL statement. Okay. So you have two options over here. That is either you can create the query using the Microsoft query or you can specify the SQL statement automatically. Click on next. Click on OK. So do you see it is showing us the list of databases that are available. My database is over here. QT underscore flight 32. I select the database and then click on the OK button. When I select the database, do you see, I have the list of tables over here. If we expand, you can see the list of columns also. Okay, so we have the list of tables and then we have the list of columns. Let's say I want to put a checkpoint on this flight number column and then departure time, arrival time, seats available. Okay, and then we have the ticket price. Okay. So these are the different columns that we are having in the flights. Now I click on the next after selecting the flight columns. Then you can put some condition. This is like your where clause. Okay. So let's say the seats available should be greater than 100. I take another condition, the ticket price, let's say should be less than $500, click on the next. You can also do the ordering, we can do order on the ticket price, click on the next. Do you see here, the entire flight table based on the query that we have designed, it is giving us the data. So now this data will be checked. Okay, whether this data is existing in your application or not, it's going to be checked. Once again, we will insert the database checkpoint using the specify SQL statement manually. So I'm going to write the query manually over here. First thing is we get, got to get connected to the database. So click on And then machine data source, we have the QT flight 32. Select the database. Do you see here, the connection string has got generated automatically. Okay. The connection string has got generated automatically, which has the name of the database 
and then we have the path where the database is available over here okay so this itself is a connection string connection string means it will have the path and then it will have the name of the data source okay so now we write the sql statement select start from orders table and then click on finish do you see the entire data that is present in the orders table is appearing over here click on the ok button do you see so we have the two database checkpoints all right so if you have to open the database checkpoint you got to go to the insert checkpoint and then we have the database checkpoint over here clear everybody okay now execution is simple click on the run and then click on okay so the result is generated let's see how many cells are checked over here do you see it has checked 22565 cells and here it has just checked 88 cells okay so all these are checked within a second okay yes lavanya this is windows based of course right see our flight uh, uh, we have the flight application which is windows based okay fine so this was about checkpoint we have text text area standard page accessibility table and then the database checkpoint okay clear everybody okay fine so now uh, you take a break of 5 minutes and then you know we will continue with the next topic okay Okay, Anita, see, uh, where is your QTP? Double click and open it. Yeah, double click and open it. Anita, are you there? Can you please open your QTP? Then click on continue. and then okay remove that web services the last option go to the new
Okay, Anita, click on the OK button and then log in. Go to the file and then new. Test. Select the test. Open new test. Okay, so from here, you know, you can start recording like I said you in the previous class. Okay. So go to the flight application and then open the flight application. Click on the record button. And the first line, you got to paste it manually. All right, Anita? Follow the same steps that I, you know, said you the last time. You did not click on record button, Anita. You should select the Windows application, not the web application. Click on cancel. Stop the recording. Stop the recording. Take a new file. Okay, and then first write the system util dot run the first line of the code. System util dot run. Anita system util dot run. See, I'm typing it here for you, okay? Single M, not double M, okay? I have typed single M. And then you should go to the flight application. Then right click and you know take the properties. Target do you remember previous class I said you Anita? Go to the flight. It is in the start. Okay. Go to the start and there you have the flight. Right. Right click on it. Not open. Properties I said. Then copy the target and paste it on the top. Copy the target. Right click and copy. Paste it after the run. After the run. And then now click on the record button.
click on the record button windows application windows application So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left-hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-1269. 17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.